Michael uh, Mal gave the boys a rev up. Uh, has it worked? Yeah, I think he's uh, readjusted the attitude um, fairly smartly, only like Mal can. And um, uh, you know, when he when he does get cranky, uh, the players and, and the staff listen. And uh, no, at yesterday's session was we've probably gone from our worst session to our best session in the space of two days. So I think the attitude uh, tonight will be good and. Uh, a lot of excitement around the fact that uh, playing at Suncorp Stadium, semi-final in the World Cup, a really good atmosphere in Brisbane with uh, plenty of people about, so I think our uh, boys are looking forward to it. What was the problem, do you reckon, Hodes? Uh, I think it was, you know, we've spent a lot of time together, it's nearly five or six weeks, so uh, we've upheld some really good standards in the way we've trained, the way we've played, the way we've prepared for a number of games. Um, so I think you can forgive the players for one session that wasn't quite at the standard we expect, and they still trained okay, but it just it just wasn't quite as uh, polished as we normally expect at that level. Has this team played to its potential yet? I think we're, I mean, we're getting better um, each week. I think we're seeing uh, some real improvements in the way we play. Um, I thought last week, you know, defensively, of course, we're, we're going well, but I thought our attack actually looked like it's starting to come together. The fact that we've now settled on what we consider our best 17 and the, the combinations are really starting to get established across the team. I think that's exciting because I think we can improve again tonight and we'll have to improve um, you know, over the course of the next two weeks. Is the fact that you, know, you guys are going in today with boards are sort of on you, I guess the pressure is on you guys heading into the match, does that help the situation? I mean, I think there's an expectation always around the Kangaroos uh, for them to be successful and to play well and to win games. Uh, so Mal and the players have never shied away from that from the start of the tournament. That's the expectation that I think the fans and the team have. So, you know, we, we know that we're gonna to have to play well tonight to, to win the game, but that's that's our intent and that's you know what we're trying to get done. Is there anything up the sleeve? Like is there anything that you save over the course of the tournament to a bit of shock value to keep it up the oh, No, I think it's you know, you you've got to try and prepare well uh, for the team you're playing every week. Uh, conditions last week different to this week, uh, with the heat and so on. So it's just really a matter of you don't really know who you're going to play against. If you think about last week Doing any homework on the Kiwis would have been um, fraught with danger because in the end Fiji were good enough to win that game. So it's a bit like just play every team on its merits and then prepare the best you can for, for the upcoming week, which is that's you know it's a challenging part of the, of the job. How, I was just saying, well then how are Fiji different? What style will you embrace tonight? I mean they've probably got um, similar traits uh, in their back five in terms of how athletic they are. Um, you know they're really good on. On kick reception, that's something that you know we've we've worked really hard on this week because we know how dangerous they are out of the backfield. Um, they actually build a lot of pressure on the Kiwis with their kick and game and their kick chase game. So you know we're expecting that they're well coached um, and they're playing with a lot of spirit. So we know that we're going to have to play well for 80 minutes. They seem to be thriving off emotion. How do you guys match? Yeah, that? no, you're right. I mean, I think um, you know they've had that really good uh, camaraderie and, and team spirit, and you can see that over the course of four or five weeks. I mean, we played them in that warm-up game a while back and you can see the improvement in their team. Um, they're full of running and, and they're, they're going well. So, yeah, we know we've got to uh, give it, be on the job defensively to, to get the job done. What about a player like Jared Hayne, you've coached him before, and just, how does he, you know, go in these sort of pressure games as well? Does he have a point to prove tonight against the... Um, I mean, it's, it's the same for, for their team. I mean, they know they need to play well if they want to progress any further. And Jared Hayne's a quality player, uh, played in a lot of big games before. Uh, seems like you know, one of their real leaders amongst the team and uh, he and Kevin Naguam have been really good I think in the way they've approached their footy and the way they're playing so yeah he, he's certainly a, a threat tonight for us to keep an eye on. Did you ever see him at a, a, as a 5-8 a decade ago? When you were uh, I mean that's been talked about for a long time and I think you know Daniel Anderson may have put him at six for you know a few games and it maybe didn't quite suit his style of play back then but you know he seems to have developed that skill over the last month and He's running the team pretty good. You surprised how well he's? No, no. I mean, he's a, he's a talented player, and he's always had good skills, um, good kicking game. You know, reads the game well, so uh, it's probably a natural place for him to play. What What is it with the Fiji environment that that fires him up? I mean, you've coached him before. You know, wait. You know, he seemed to just grow another leg when, when he's in that camp. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, he seems to enjoy that environment. That you know, they've got that real sort of family culture. I think that they they thrive on, and um, they've got a lot of good people around the team. So. Uh, that's obviously something he enjoys.